You can't challenge us on Naira depreciation. You lack the local standee, CBN tells Falano. I know the issue of Naira is now everybody's business, whether CBN like it or not, whether federal government likes it or not. As long as you're spending Naira, okay, the issue of Naira exchange rate is your business. So it, they cannot claim they are very competent when things are falling apart. So I know that Falano is trying to challenge them on the issue of the Naira condition, but the CBN is coming to tell uh, Falano that uh, he lacks the local standee. He does not have the competence or what it takes to challenge CBN on Naira depreciation. Okay, only God knows how far it will depreciate further, okay, before we get to the stable point. But right now, it is an unbearable situation that will the CBN and the federal government has put uh, Nigerians in the issue of Naira exchange rate. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has challenged the legal standing of the human rights lawyer, Mr. Femi Falano, son, to pray the Federal High Court to compel the CBN to stop the alarming depreciation of the Naira. He has sued you now. It could, have, it could have been someone else. Falano did it as a lawyer, but it could have been someone else that sued federal government or sued uh, CBN. And what he will say? He, uh, so, in the preliminary objection filed against Falano's suit on the falling rate of the Naira and dollarization of the economy, the Apex Bank questioned Falano's local standee and also challenged the jurisdiction of the Federal High Court to entertain the case. Besides, the Apex Bank wants the case dismissed on the ground that it is statute uh, bad. How is it statute bad? Can you imagine? Hmm. So in its release in the originating summons, Falano in the suit number Federal High Court Legal CS 470-2023 is seeking the order of the court to stop the CBN from allowing market forces to fix and determine the exchange rate of the Naira vis-a-vis -vis other currencies in line with Section 16 of the Central Bank Act. So in addition, the senior advocates praised the court to compel the CBN to stop the dollarization of the economy since Section 20, Subsection 1 of the Act stipulates that the Naira is the only legal tender in Nigeria. Hmm. So the plaintiff has prayed the court for a de declaration that by virtue of Section 16 of the Central Bank Act, the legal tender acceptable in Nigeria is Naira and Kobo, and that by the combined effect of Section 15 and 20, Subsection 1 of the Central Bank Act, the currency notes issued by the defendant shall be legal tender in Nigeria. Hmm. Falana also prayed the court for a declaration that by virtue of Section 16 of the Central Bank Act, the exchange rate of the Naira shall be determined from time to time by a suitable mechanism devised by the defendant for the purpose, as well as declaring that the defendant is not competent to allow multiple exchange rates of the Naira vis-a-vis -vis the dollars and other foreign currencies. The plaintiff further prayed for a declaration that by virtue of Section 20, Subsection 5 of the Central Bank Act, the defendant is under a legal obligation to prosecute any person who refuses to accept the Naira as a means of payment in Nigeria. He therefore wants the court to hold that in line with the CBN Act, the exchange rate of the Naira shall be determined from time to time by a suitable mechanism devised by the bank for that uh, purpose. However, in the preliminary objection filed on behalf of the bank by Mr. Adeleke Agbola San, the CBN contended that Falano has not in any way shown that he stands to suffer more than other citizens of Nigeria concerning the exchange rate policy of the CBN, adding that Falano has no local standee to institute the case and that he has not reported those who are trading in dollars in Nigeria. Other objections include the fact that Falano has not shown that the CBN acted in bad faith and that the plaintiff has not disclosed a reasonable cause of action against the CBN. The fact is therefore urging the Honorable Court, okay, the bank is therefore urging the Honorable Court to dismiss the suit, okay, or in alternative strike out the suit on the ground that it lacks jurisdiction to entertain it. Hmm. The bank argued that the Honorable Court lacks the requisite jurisdiction 
to entertain the suit and that the plaintiff has not disclosed a reasonable cause of action against the CBM. The bank further submitted that the action is started to bad and that the action is not competent and maintainable against the defendant. So in addition, it submitted that the substantive relief sought by the plaintiff has been overtaken by events following the central bank announcement of unification of all segments of foreign exchange market in e secular uh, of 14th june 2023 can you imagine i'm sure what falada is trying to do is actually the bidding of the heirs of nigerians the whole nigerians that are suffering the impact of the exchange rate definitely will not go to court at the same time but someone will take the lead someone will front the matter and just like what falada is trying to do now because you cannot allow your exchange rate to float in the economy that is that's consumption based that is not producing anything that is not importing exporting anything apart from oil that is just dormant and you want market forces what are you buying or selling that will drive the market forces that will help your 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 exchange rate to remain neutral it's not possible and all over the world nobody allows exchange rate to float the US, the UK, the Canada, the Australians, the Russian, they, not even the Asians, even the Arabs, okay, they will not allow their exchange rate to float because some unscrupulous elements in the market will capitalize on that to create propaganda that will destabilize the currency further. And that's exactly what is happening in Nigeria. These people don't know what they're doing. So that is the court case that uh, Falano has put together, but let's see exactly how um, it will go okay and all these lawyers self that we know the truth and they will still go to court to defend the lies it's quite unfortunate eh? when you see a case that with his, in his own merit you just shut it down and take necessary action to put this right <laughs> rather than challenging things in the court and then you know that what are challenging is wrong and you still go ahead to challenge it because you want to make your money you want to practice law is that how to practice law oh, wow Tinubu's uh, FOIC certificate and election tribunal and Supreme Court Justice Abracadabra are there begging for answers. Mr. Falano didn't say anything, but rushed room to CBN to fight an inconsequential but uh, uh, making a fool of himself. When you have illiterate as president, why wouldn't you, your economy and currency crumble? That's why it is necessary for him to channel is focused on resolving the certificate saga and fake judicial verdict this man is deceitful okay they don't give falano for there that is the truth he will not have gotten himself involved in terrible certificate uh, issue because he was the person that defended in 1999 against danifa when the case was first instituted in the court in lagos okay so he knows the truth he will not go there all these lawyers here eh, i'm telling you sometimes it looks like the law profession is not a good one. Hmm? As I say, much as I agree with the Falamos reasoning on the badly depreciated Naira today as a result of our hopeless, hopelessly managed macro and microeconomic policies of the past administration, I strongly disagree with him challenging CBN on a policy which he has no locus to challenge. Can you imagine in court? So, who has the right to challenge it? If, if the, every citizen of Nigeria has the right to challenge anything that is not going well with them in the court. So, <laughs> as I say, I say that Buffalo is not a citizen of Nigeria. As long as what is happening or what government is doing is affecting you, you have a right to challenge it if you have the capacity. That is it. Falano has jurisdiction on the matter because many people, except those who are allowed to operate dollar account in Nigeria banks, are suffering from the continuous depreciation of the Naira. Mm -hmm. CBN handlers should be ashamed because uh, lost, they lost control of the Apex Bank's regulatory role to a book FS who MFLA attacked and became target. Hmm. It is a shame that Yoruba and Fula natives, okay, uh, took over leadership from Good Luck Jonathan, who maintained a robust economy, value, economic value during his time, only to get it destroyed by these same Yoruba and Fula natives who claim to be better candidates. Today, the Nigerian Naira have become a toilet rule in the face of other better currencies, particularly in Africa. 
Yoruba incompetencies and deceivers are driving the Nigerian economy into the abyss. <laughs> Not be smart, you know. And I'm to say, Jonathan brought us here in case if you don't know. Okay, he wasn't doing well enough, but he was sent away. We sought out desperate change in 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 Bubu APC as a result of Jonah misappropriation of funds. So Jonah wasted our funds, no best uh, small, but just that Bubu government finished and granted us. The two government not fit to get safe heaven. Have we? Not fit get safe heaven, have we? <laughs> I, I understand. I think there's a point there. What was the reason that made uh, um, Wari to enter? It was because Good Lord Jonathan was laden with corruption. The likes of, uh, uh, what's, what is his name? This lady has been dragged up and down now. Uh, Desiane. And even to, even uh, Good Lord's wife was also almost everywhere. Okay. And uh, what was that uh, uh, boy that was doing a round boy for 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 uh, good luck's uh, wife all of them were making so much money and good luck was there seeing them stealing so the corruption in good luck's time was also bad and that was why people thought that Buari coming in with checkmate things not knowing that Buari was going to be the worst so none of them has actually performed actually even though today um uh, uh, you know Buari failed completely and tinubu starting point is also showing a very disastrous uh, beginning does not make uh, to, uh, uh, good loss government a better one because w the corruption there was also high. You no, know, a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that was true. Corruption in that government was also very, very high. But unfortunately, the APC have beaten that uh, corruption to a to a different high level. So it means that Nigeria is not in any way getting better. So thank you for listening, and let's have your comment.